Hi guys, it's me, and sorry if the lighting looks really weird. It's kind of dark. It's really dark outside. Um, so today I'm gonna redo the video on how to knit a ball for your toy. I mean, a toy ball for your dog. So I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna need. Let me move this out of the way. Sorry. So what you're gonna need um, to make this project, you're gonna need some fiber fill. And if you guys want to see my knitting tutorial on how to do the basic knit stitch and purl stitch, those will be linked in the description box down below. Some size 11 knitting needles. You don't have to make a large ball. You can make a small, but you're going to need size 8 for the small. And for medium, you can use size 10, but I'm using size 11. Some worsted weight yarn, some scissors, a tapestry needle, which I don't have with me right now, a size 8-8 millimeter crochet hook, and this is a row counter. I'm just using it for the two demonstration. You don't have to use a row counter. You can just use a piece of paper. So, okay, to get started... Let me move this so... Ah! Sorry, sorry, sorry. What you're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot like this. And we're going to put it on the needle and pull it. And again, don't pull it too much because you don't want to uh, um, make it too tight. And we're going to cast on six stitches. One... Two, three, four, five. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to knit we're actually increase. Well, ha to increase we're going to knit the first stitch Wrap the yarn around counterclockwise like this. Push the needle down, catching the yarn. But don't take it off the needle because what we're going to do now is we're going to knit into the back of the stitch like this. We'll actually put the needle in the back of the stitch, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, push the needle down, catching the yarn again, and then we take it off. So let me do it one more time, and then I'll knit the rest. And sorry about the sound of my knitting needles hitting against my desk. Wrap the yarn around. Keeping the stitch on, like this, we knit into the back. You should now have 12 stitches on your needle. And since you have 12 stitches, what we're going to do now is we're going to purl. And to purl, we're going to slip the right needle in front of the left one, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, push the needle down, catching the yarn like this, and then we take the stitch off. And then we're just going to keep doing that until we've done knit it, we per, not knitted, I mean purled, sorry, all the stitches. And again, I apologize for my knitting needles hitting against the table.
and this is what the project should look like. So basically, what all you're just gonna do for when you knit, you're gonna increase each stitch across, and then you just purl straight across, and you're gonna keep doing that until you have about 48 stitches. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in part two. Bye.